So do you ever find yourself finding an icon set online and just picking one of the icons that you use, but then you might find yourself going back and what ends up happening is this can waste a lot of time. And in this video, we're going to look at why and how to use an icon set for a design system. Hey YouTube, I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK. We're going to look at choosing an icon set. We are going to think about social icons. We're going to extend the icons to a white and black version. If you stick to the end of the video, we're going to look at how to customize an icon set and how to create an icon. Now, this is not going to be the perfect solution, but this is how I would do it. So I'll be sharing this in the Figma community. You can open the file. Make sure it's at Tailwind Labs. And then if we duplicate the file. And the nice thing about Heroicons is they have two sets, which is the outline and the solid. So if you want to put this within your design system, all you have to do is just, I'm going to actually copy the whole thing. So if I just drag and click, I also would like to get the document. So if I go down here, unlock that, I think, hold shift, click, command and C. Go back here and I'm going to create a new page called icons. Paste that in. And the nice thing here is you already have all the components set up. So in order to use an icon, you would just do shift I. And I would then say icon slash, or I would say search, it's quite a common one. So here I'd say, okay, we want the icon outline. And I'll just drag that and there you go. So this is how you use your icons and you can go to the instant swapper. So you can say, hey, I actually want the server. So if you go to Eva, this is also a very nice icon set as well and the nice thing is they have outline and fill so you might be in a situation where the icon set you want is not actually in a figma file so what you can do you can download all and because i've done one earlier what i'm going to do i'm just going to add a new page and say feather icons so this is where i have the whole folder i'm just going to do command a and just drag it over here <laughs> okay so now you can see it is absolutely all in order the only thing is we need to create an icon set for this so command r and i would then rename it to icon slash if you want to do the same naming convention you can say outline slash and then current name rename so now you've got this nice naming convention and here you can do component set, but we're not going to use variants. We're just going to say create multiple components. So now you've got your very own um, icon set. So if I was to do shift I, and this time we actually want ever. The only thing is we've, we've called it icon outline zoom. So another quick way of doing this is command A again, command R. I actually want to put ever in front forward slash current name rename so now we've got the ever set so if i was to do shift i and then look for ever so here we go and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to duplicate that and what i'm going to do i'm actually just going to copy so command oh that is the uh Okay, these are the sources, so we got them all for, from the place. So Command C, and then we go to your icons, make a new page. You can say social, paste, and then what we're going to do is, if you hit Enter to go into all these uh, layers, they already been made into uh, an uh, components, which is pretty cool. But what we might want to do. Is change the naming convention so for example I would say so these are original but the way I would like it is if I was to click on that one that one I'm going to do command R I'm going to say the 
hyphen original I would like to change that to color rename okay and then the negative I would like to rename that to commander so that negative I'd rename that to let's say light rename but now I actually want to create a dark version so if you're finding value in this video please hit the like button find that layer I'm going to copy paste drag it over here then here Facebook all the way to VK command C go here paste I didn't paste it in there so I'm just drag it down and what I'm going to do I'm going to break out of these components because they're instances so I'm going to do command alt B I'm going to do command R and I want to rename the light to dark rename and then I'm actually going to choose the colors so I'm going to say you want that to be dark and it's not appearing because it is beneath the um, background white but we'll sort that in a minute and let's see if I can collapse all the layers this is some nice shortcuts so uh, option L nice and then I'm going to convert them to multiple components sweet and then after that I just want to bring this to the front so can I bring the front there we go I want to create the squid game free icons right so I'm going to need a triangle a square and a circle so I'm just actually going to look at the existing set and this is obviously a very basic icon so here you've got this uh, and this one and then now I just need a triangle now wherever that is let's see and um, we've got one there so I'm holding shift down click and then if I copy and paste I'm just going to drag it across okay so now oop, now if I put that into an auto layout shift A and all I'm going to do really I'm just going to go in and I'm going to I have to then break out of these components so command alt and B and I'm going to go in and just start deleting right so this is the basic shape delete and delete so now we very quickly played around with these and of course we can now go to the frame hit enter command R and now we are going to change the name so actually it's better to go individually so here I'll just say triangle we actually need to go to the frame and hit enter command alt k yeah no I'm doing something wrong very wrong hit enter and why are they not going into components create multiple components there'll always be an icon that you'll need to create by you know from scratch I'll duplicate this and, and the nice thing about this is they actually do all the different versions 24 48 40 and 60 so design your icon here and you've got all the lines which I think is pretty cool so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna use a polygon and I'm gonna try and do the triangle so this might be good this might be bad I'm gonna I'm gonna again look at uh, so again I'm gonna look at here and I can see it's got oh it's not totally so 20 and 18 okay so 20 width so if I make this 20 width and constrain it it'll be 20 by 20 okay we got sharp edges get rid of the feel stroke is going to be center and it's one pixel so is it one pixel we'll go back to we'll go back to here we'll see 
that feather icon is using two pixels. So we can go back and we then change that to two. So now if I were to come on X, go in here, come on V. And if I can get it within, within these lines, you can see it's quite, it's pretty big. So I need to reduce this. So let's say 18. So now it's starting to go within, within the bounding box. So I'm going to just say around there. So if I zoom out, the really neat thing is, is done it for all, all of the other sizes. We're going to put this all into one design system. And so far we've done things like textiles, color styles, spacing, and now we've got an icon set and we're actually building a design system because the plan is to start designing uh, landing pages really quickly using a design system and then planning to then build it out with HTML, CSS. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.